But I must have fallen asleep until at least Act 2. That was due entirely to my father's vocal prowess, because I remember the conversation that followed from his reading of the line, and I serve the fairy queen to do her orbs upon the green. Dana asked, fairly enough, what that meant, and Dad described fairy rings, little dark circles that appear in grass, which in Shakespeare's nature, which you, in fact, in Warwickshire would have been a source of mystery and wonder, mingled with fear. I may have mentioned that it sounded like a dull childhood if rotting grass was a highlight. Nevertheless, he kept going. Now, some future moments flow from that moment. One, my sister's dreadful college punk band, the Fairy Rings, <laughs> for which she played bass at Brown University, better than her other earlier effort, Discomfort Women. Two, my eventual career as a novelist, possibly, since we were lying down, drowsy, in the drabbest possible conceivable space, and my father, who did have a way of vocal effects and vocabulary, was extolling the greatness of anyone who adds to the world's store of wonder and magic, disorder, confusion, possibility, the wizards, he would say. If he'd been trying to hypnotize me for life ahead, it wouldn't have sounded much different. And three, the third thing that happened as a result of this, the very odd weeks that followed immediately after that, the pinnacle of my love for the three of us, my father and sister and I, as a team, culminating, however, in his arrest and plea bargain, fines, and community service down in Nobles County, Minnesota. That night he said something along these lines. I'm reconstructing 35 little conversations as best I can, so they're not correct, but they're close. He said, in those days, you walked outside your house, or 20 minutes outside of London, and you were in an endless forest. As magical and terrifying as you can imagine, wonders were in the grass, there were mysteries in the grass, something invisible was trying to communicate with you, frighten you, charm you, maybe steal from you, or help you, or leave you to riches, or just laugh at you. Now, boring, boring. We know there are grotesque fairies out there. We cut down all those forests to prove it. We know what causes 20 varieties of discolorations of grass. We have so many facts, and with our facts, we can cut down anything. I agree wholeheartedly. Dad, forests, adventure, wonder, Dana, and I, versus prisons and bulldozers and boring people and facts. That seemed to explain the world to me at 10. 